how to design open drain system introduction slope of drain line shall be in accordance with the requirements and standard piping for main headers should have adequate slope to allow trouble free transport of liquid containing solids minimum 1 is to 100 the recommended minimum slope for headers transporting particularly high content of solids is 1 is to 50 slope. And offshore, aboard floating installations, deeper slope may be required as a permanent inclination can be expected as an alternative, particularly in high, is limited. A horizontal header with collection tanks at opposite ends may be employed. De de deflections Example as a result of large cantilevers and their influence of functions of the open drain system should be given due consideration and where necessary mitigating action shall be taken to ensure that the requirements for a slope are met. This may, for example, entail increasing the slope of the piping or in case of lower deck, drainage insulation and additional drain tanks to shorten the length of piping runs into the rack in your tanks. Open drains branch connection shall be 45 degrees. Cleaning or riding out shall preferably be carried out through the drain box and change of direction shall be evaluated against flashing requirement where the total change of direction is greater than 135 degrees. In cases where riding out through drain boxes is not possible, or the location of number of drain boxes does not provide full coverage, separate drive point points shall be provided. For drain system with a great probability of clogging, example the drilling drains and sewage systems, the rod out point shall be accessible without the use of scaffolding. Fire cells should be accessible without use of scaffolding. The tray shall be have slope bottoms toward the outlet pipe to avoid accumulation of potential harmful liquids. On floating installation, two outlets located at the opposite corners are required, where access to equipment located within the drip tray is required. Greeting shall be installed above the drip tree to avoid contact with harmful liquids. Drain boxes shall be covered with gratings which shall be easily removable and plus with a floor surface. The drain boxes shall be provided with an easy removable basket and strainer for collection of debris. The design of drain boxes shall be ensure sufficient capacity to drain the area with a strainer 50% felt of the breeze. These requirements shall be also include drainage of the loads water from the actual area if separate overflow lines are not provided. For drain box details, reference is made to the piping detail standard.
Okay, let's continue. Local open open drain lines from drip pans, etc. Shall be run to the nearest drain box or tandis without crossing access roads, escape roads, or lay down areas. Local open drains shall be provided with valves and located such that discharge will be observed. Open drain pipe and shall extend into the tandis or drain box to avoid spillage. All drain lines either with exception of those located in tarweed and the confine of double bottom shall be provided with blind plants for the inspection and maintenance. Where pipe and pipe systems are used, the system shall be provided with, drain, with visible drain points in order to detect leakage. The hazardous open drain tanks, related pumps, and the drain treatment unit shall be located in hazardous area. The non-hazardous open drain tank shall be preferably be located in a non-hazardous area, but provided sufficient ceiling in all operating and maintenance conditions. It can be it can also be located in the hazardous area easy access for cleaning of drain tank shall be provided the collection tank shall be located such as that gravity draining is possible from all sources except for bells tank where practicable the prepared location for drain pump is outside of the tanks. Where tanks located makes this impracticable example in deck tanks at cellar deck level, provision shall be made for safe withdrawal of the pumps from the tanks. Whilst the collection system is in operation. Overboard discharge of treated water shall be hard pipe to below sea level. Up next, part 2 is the functional requirements for the train open drain system and a party system configuration and system capacity. Part 4 will be the layout and maintenance requirements. Uh, abangan natin ang mga sunod na topic for the how to design open drain system. At panorin natin at isuportahan natin ang mga members ko.